I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a very important video which relates surface area of a square based prism with volume. We will apply the techniques learned in calculus to find the maximum area which a square based prism can have for a given surface area. So the question here is find dimensions and volume of square based prism with maximum volume that can have surface area of a meter square. Now it has huge applications in packaging industry since surface area relates to the material used in packaging and volume is the capacity which that package can hold. So we want to have minimum cost and maximum capacity, right? So that is why it has huge applications. Now let's try to understand how to derive a formula and then we'll apply it in some applications. So let me first sketch a square based prism. So the base is square, so I'll just uh, make a small diagram here. So we have this square base and um, height, we'll just keep general, we'll say y is the height and uh, we'll say that x is the length and width of the base, right? So in this prism, we have x and x square base as length and width and y as height of this prism. Now, once we have surface area, it can help us to relate x and y, the two variables we are working with. So what is surface area for a prism? We are assuming that all sides are closed. So we have six sides of this particular square based prism. So the area A will be equals to area of top and bottom. So we can say area of top plus bottom, which is which is kind of same, right? Uh, plus area of sides. So there are four sides with same area, area of sides, right? So that is the area we are looking for. Area of top and bottom is x square. So I'm writing x square plus these sides x times y x times y right all four sides so four times x y is equal to a so that is how we can relate our variables with the area now i will isolate y so i should write top and bottom so it should be two right two times both have same area 2x square plus 4xy okay so y can be written as a minus 2x square is 4xy. So when I divide by 4x, a minus 2x square divided by 4x will give me y. So this equation relates the two variables that is length, width and height. So I'll call this equation as my equation number one, which is a relation between the dimensions of the square based prism. Now, what is the volume of this prism? So volume is equals to area of base times height. So we can say volume V is equals to area of base is x square times height is y for us. Y could be written as a minus 2x square over 4x, correct? Now that gives us volume in terms of x. So at this stage, we have an equation which relates volume with one variable, right? So we'll call this equation as equation 2. Let me simplify this a bit. So we'll just multiply by x square these terms, write them as uh, difference right so we get a times x squared divided by 4x will give us a over 4x minus if I multiply this by this and then divide so x squared times x squared is x to the power 4 divided by x is cube divided by 2 right so this is what we get volume in terms of difference of two terms now to maximize volume, what should we do? 
to maximize volume, we need to find the derivative equated to zero. So, so the derivative of this is equal to, since a over 4 is a constant, derivative of x is 1, so we get a over 4 minus, this gives us 3x squared over 2, right? For maximum, derivative should be 0, right? So we can equate this to 0 equals to a over 4 minus 3x squared over 2 and then find x in terms of a, right? So this will be 0 when 3x squared over 2 is equals to a over 4. So you can simplify this, you get x squared equals to a over 4 times 2 over 3 and that gives you a over 6, right? So the area of the base x squared is 1 6 the total surface area, do you see that? So it's kind of very important to understand this particular equation. It is, it gives you a clue of what we are getting into. So we see that area of base area, right, is one sixth of surface area. Do you understand? So that gives you an idea that all these surfaces have same area. There are six surfaces, right? All six have same area. That means we are heading for a cube, right? All sides, same cube. So here you understand, to maximize, we did this. V dash, V dash, X equals to zero for maximum volume, for maximum volume, right? That is why we wrote zero here. Now let's move on. So from here we know X squared is equals to one sixth of the area or we can say x is square root of a over square root of 6, right? That is x. Now, when we say find the dimensions, that means we have to find what x and y are. So let me find what y is. y is equal to from equation 1. Let me number this as our equation number 3, right? So from equation 1, we can say y is a minus, so y is a minus, I'm just copying that equation here for you, and then we'll substitute the value of x squared and x. So we have a minus 2 times a over 6 divided by 4 times square root a over square root 6. Is it okay? So this we can take common denominators, so we get 6a minus 2a over 6 and we'll flip this to write this as square root of 6 over 4 square root of a, right? So I hope this step is clear, right? So that gives you 4a over 6 times square root of 6 over 4 square root of a. And here, 4 and 4 cancel. a divided by square root of a is square root of a, right? And this will be divided by 6 divided by square root of 6 is square root 6. So as you can see, y is also equals to square root of a over 6, which is same as x. So that means that given a surface area, q, has maximum volume. Okay, so so that is another very very important conclusion. How much is that volume? Let me write down that. So we just found that volume is x squared a to the base times y. So volume is equals to x squared times y x squared is a over 6 for us, y we just calculated as square root of a over 6. So if you combine this, we get a over 6 to the power of 1 plus half or 3 by 2. Is that okay? So the maximum volume which can be contained in a square based prism with the area of a is that much. So that's huge, right? very very important relation so volume 
is equals to area surface area to the power of 3 over 2 surface sixth one sixth of the surface area to the power of 3 over 2 right that's another very very important relation so so that is how we can relate these things once you know these relations you can take up examples for example okay let me just push this a bit and say the surface area is let us say 54 meters square then then what is volume and what are the dimensions so we know surface area is that much in that case we have six same surface area since it's a Q with maximum volume so I should say surface area so area of base will be one sixth of this 54 over 6 which is 9 so that is the value of x squared do you see that and volume will be this is x squared so let me first give you dimensions x will be square root of 9 which is 3 right and then volume will be 3 cube which is 27 do you see that so easily we can get all the values once we understand these relations we'll take up this example soon i hope that really helps i like you to go through this derivation we'll take up another one with open top right this was with closed top six surfaces you can do the same exercise for open top which will have five surfaces and see how volume is related with the surface area I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.